Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or nine thousand dollars in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 67, NASDAQ up one, SP's up three and a half. Gold, gold contract up six dollars, sixty cents traded, two thousand sixty-six an ounce. We have silver up sixteen cents, twenty-five dollars, forty-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude at a buck and a half. Seventy-seven dollars ninety-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note, trading up twelve ticks at one oh nine twenty-nine. The thirty up a full point at one seventeen twelve and king dollar, king dollar. Up 49 ticks, trading 102.795. Euros at 109. Yen's at 147. British pound is trading at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we still have that ABC structure that is in place with a 462. And we hit... Out here today, the, uh, let me get this baby. So you hit 450, 458.32. Uh, Bottom line, my take is that we're still going to get it. Now let's go take a look at the futures, because what we did definitely did, had futures are up 30 points, gave it up in spades, come all the way back down. Let's go take a look at these volumes and see where we're sitting here. Okay, so I got the S&Ps up, we're at, up, up, uh, up four bucks, and what you're going to see Okay, so let's see. So we just came back down, but yet you didn't get to the low. Yeah, this still, this, okay, so last 30 minutes ago, that was 34,000 contracts going into 38, going into, uh, going into 54. Okay, we're going higher. So what you had here is this. Let me open this up a little bit more. Right there, that was... Yeah, 54,000 contracts on the S&P. Now, this was right before 10 minutes, 20 minutes before the low. We came back down and tested that, but you tested it with uh, 34. So that's, that's saying that now the top, not the very highs of today, but the last top of this range is game, which is 45, or 45.67. That'd be uh, 45.76. That's where that would be set up. NQs. Let's do the same thing with the NQs because they both gave it up. And I'll show you what, what, what it was all about the move in the dollar. So we take a look at the NQs, do the same type of setup. Yeah, so the NQs, we had 70, no, no, 20, 20, 27,000 versus 13,000. We just tested with 13,000 versus 27. That says that wants higher price also. We go into the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. We pull up the 10-year first. What you're going to see inside the 10-year, we're up another 12 ticks. Now, what we also are, uh, we're in the higher range now. Okay, we got in the higher range yesterday. Uh, you're at the 109.29. So 114 is game. Now, watch this. This is pretty cool. Yeah. 
We can, I'm going to bring up the 10-year yield so that you can see the correlation, okay? So this chart that you're looking at here, this is the exact, you can see at the high, you know, this high was generated when, you know, the, the markets were actually closed, but the bond market was, you know, open, 5.01, okay? We're at 4.27. Now, the bottom of this range is 3.56. And where we are right now, this is what's so cool. So where we are right now, you can see right there, we're right into, you know, there's, it'll take a little bit to get through here. You know, because you can see what, what has happened is that we traded here, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We traded here about just less than a month, just less than a month. So we'll see how this gets, gets into this area. But the way this is set up right now is that you get 3.7 on the agenda, 3.5 on the agenda, actually, which is pretty, <laughs> which is really amazing, actually. That's basically over the top. Gold, gold contract. This contract wants 2500 bucks, man. And it's going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. So what we had here, I'm going to bring up the XAU and the HUI. Because what we did yesterday is that you broke higher with conviction. And I'm going to put the volumes up on it so you can see how this whole thing shook out. There we go. So what you can see is that you broke a consolidation that's going back four months. And you broke it with volume. And that's how you want to break a consolidation. Wide price spread, accelerated volume, it has all the above. Bottom line, you take a look at this. Let me put this actually on a weekly now. So, on a, oh, look at this, man. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So on a weekly, what you, what you can see here is that your next move in the uh, XAU, we, we're at 123, you're talking about 141. We go to the Gold Bugs Index, we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index going to be the same type of setup. We had the price and volume movement inside it. Get those volumes up for you. And you're going to see it's the decisive break of the consolidation in spades, too. Now, the cool thing here is this. Look, look, watch this, folks. See the HUI? That HUI is stronger than the XAU. When the HUI is stronger than the XAU, what that is saying is that the actual gold contract is going to keep accelerating. We take this back. We put it back three years and what you're going to see bottom line we did the same break with conviction and the hui right now is a 241 and that's saying 294 is on the agenda that's the next move up there and then we get into the dollar so if you get into the dollar and take a look at the dollar what you're going to see here is that we started the day what was intriguing we started the day with the dollar up and even that being said the the future still went up um bottom line is that it gave it up a bit. As it gave it up, futures came back. Now the real question is, is where are we going to go from this particular point? And this particular point, um, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. We're right, we're right in a spot right now that, you know, we'll see whether it can make it. That's the bottom line, meaning if the dollar will stay in a counter trend bounce. Uh, right now, you're only up 52 ticks, which is nothing. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. We have the Dow Industrials up 66, NASDAQ's down 4, SP's up 2. Stay right there, come right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries up 34, Nasdaq's down 20, S&P's off 3, and the Fed Be Beige Book, folks. That came out at 2 o'clock today, so let's just take a look at that. Uh, so U.S. economic uh, slowed uh, in recent weeks as consumers pulled back on discretionary spending, the Federal Reserve said in the Beige Book Survey of Regional Business uh, Context. Sales of discretionary items and durable goods like furniture and appliances declined on average as consumers showed more price sensitivity, according to the report. Travel and tourism, uh, however, uh, is generally healthy. You got, uh, let's see... Um, Labor demand continued to ease, with respondents noting reductions in uh, headcount through layoffs and attrition, and most districts reported flat to modest increases in employment. Several districts, however, continued uh, to describe labor markets as tight. Uh, the government's uh, jobs numbers are going to be released uh, late next week. The credit conditions. So credit conditions right now, you got... Uh, where, of course, it were highs on the, on the interest rate uh, market, no doubt about that. Consumer credit, these are, these are all quotes inside of folks. Consu consumer credit remained uh, fairly healthy, but some banks noted a slight uh, uptick in co consumer delinquencies. Uh, while the economy expanded at the fastest pace in nearly two years in the third quarter, the report points to broad-based cooling in recent weeks. Four districts reported modest growth, uh, though the rest indicated stagnation or outright decline in activity. The economic outlook for the next 6 to 12 months also diminished. Inflation, meanwhile, largely moderated across the country, according to the report. Pricing power varied with uh, service providers finding it easier to pass through increases. Uh, service providers, let me see. With service providers, oh, okay. Service providers find it easier to do a pass through at prices versus manufacturing. Most districts uh, expect moderate price increases to continue next year. So, bottom line is that you know you have a, basically a slowing down. And now the real question is, you have a slowing down, but guess what, folks? Okay, the GDP committed 5.2 percent today, so that. Uh, that if that's slow, that's pretty amazing. Okay, that is one huge number. 
So we'll see how the rest of this is going to shake out. But that is one, I mean, that's 5.2%. Are you kidding me, man? I mean, that's just amazing. Let's go to Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? How you doing, Tommy, this afternoon? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing fine myself. Tommy, did you call me yesterday that gold is going for 2500 Yes. Okay, that's the first question. Second question is, what effect will uh, a cut in interest rates have on gold? Well, this is, this is what's so wild. Now, this is a great question, folks, okay? So... Inside of the gold market, I mean, if you go back, I've been doing the gold report now 22 years. And it's so wild because, you know, at the beginning of it, all they ever talked about is that with gold, you know, you get no dividends, okay? You know, so the interest rate structure is very important of how it goes, right? Then, you know, we'll fast forward 15, 20 years. And then, of course, we went to zero rate um, interest rate structure, right? And what's so cool here, Coster, is this. It's hard to comprehend that gold actually got this high with a high interest rate structure. But guess what? That means this is more demand than supply, okay? Just in general. So every time that we are gonna see lower interest rates now, that brings the dollar down, that brings gold and commodities, all commodities up, because all commodities are priced in US dollars. So, you know, my take is that because Number one, the contract itself didn't get destroyed when we were at, you know, a 5% tenure. Well, as we go down, that's why you're seeing basically gold get stronger and stronger. And that's how it looks that, that this thing is setting up. Okay, now Newmont Mining, where's this going to? So, Newmont, this is what happened with Newmont. Newmont Mining, folks, okay, bought Newcrest. Now, most times, you know, and Newcrest was, was, is, well, now Newcrest is Newmont. Newcrest is the largest gold miner in Australia. And Australia is a great district in order to be in the mining business, number one, and there's a huge amount of gold there. That being said, the market looked at Newmont and says, hey, man, you paid way too much money for it. And that's why we saw Newmont basically get smoked. I mean, Newmont, you know, went down in a dramatic way. Now, that being said, when I say down in a dramatic way, you're talking about, you know, going from $74 down to what, $34? $33. Now, yes. my take is that we're off the lows. You know, I mean, Newmont finally got a sign of strength yesterday. And, and what happens here is this. This is what's so cool about the gold market, folks, okay? Is that, you know, we, we got the sign of strength, and that's what Newmont needed. And one of the main, now, so that's technically, fundamentally what ends up happening is this, is that when the price of gold accelerates like we have, okay, that the amount of ounces that these large production companies do, it makes a huge difference to the bottom line. You know, like Newmont, bottom line this year is going to do $15.4 billion in business. You know, and that's, that's, that's saying that, you know, they also, that's what Newcrest numbers in a cost are, okay? Um, so what ends up happening is that when you do have gold that is running like it is, well, all these equities are going to run. And in this particular case, in Newmont's case, I mean, they, they, they're going to take millions of ounces out of the gold, gold out, of the, out of the marketplace. So it's going it, to, it is the price of gold itself, the physical price of gold that basically saves all these companies, including Newmont. So now what you'll have happening is that all of a sudden the, the buyout of Newcrest is going to look really good because the price of gold is so high, you know. So I think, you know, if you're in Newmont, I think you probably caught the bottom. That's the real bottom. That's, that's, that's how it I'm, seems. Yeah. I'm looking to buy it, actually. Okay, so if you're looking to buy it, you could buy it here and you put a stop right on right. I wouldn't give this. You don't have to give this a lot. I would put... I'd put the stop under the lows of yesterday, you know, because if it breaks that, then it's like, okay, man, you're going to get down. You don't have to go to the low, but eh, well, put, put the stop somewhere that you're comfortable that you can get some volatility inside of Costa. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Maybe that's... 
Yeah, I, you know okay. what? I'd put it right under the lows of yesterday. For right now, I'd put it under the lows of yesterday. Because, see, Newmont hasn't broken that consolidation yet, but it's coming up to it. And the gold stocks that we own, what I did out here um, the last couple of days, I put the stops underneath the consolidation. Because if you get back inside the consolidation, the consolidation in Newmont starts at uh, the top of it is we're 40, 41. That's going to be 40, well, right, 41, 39. You know what I mean? So for right now, I just put it underneath there. Then you break the consolidation. We break the consolidation. If you break the consolidation, you want to see it be broken with conviction. That's wide price spread, accelerated volume. Then you can move your stop up and put it right there, man. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up five. NASDAQ's down 28. S&P's up five and a half. We're coming right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 10, and Nasdaq's down 27, S&P's up 5.5. We have a question about, is this a failure on price and volume? So let, let's go through this for a second. You heard me forever out here uh, talking about the ABC structure up. Now... I go with ABC structures on the way up or the way down. That, that's what you got to understand first. And in particular, when you have more than one of them, okay? So what we had out here in the SPY is this, okay? You took out the B point. You took it out with volume. Then you got another acceleration with price and volume. 
And the A to B equals C to D is 462. And we hit the 458, okay? That's the first part. Now, the second part gets in intriguing because of a failure on price and volume. Well, what's happening here out here today is that you just may take out this other swing point with volume and have another ABC structure up. That's, it, and I know that the market's down, but that's what's happening with price and volume right now. It's trying to, the, the SPY's trying to take out this 459. That's where it's happening. And it makes sense that it's going to mess around here. Why? Because that's when the bears, the bulls, the, the, the bulls, of course, are going to get nervous because it's been such a run. The bears are going to get, you know, like, hey, man, there's such a run. Bottom line, we should get a pullback, okay? My take is that this is going to come into fruition. And this, so that's the first part of it, the SPY. Now let's go to the Qs because what has happened here, this market is in harmony for higher price. We go to the Qs, we take a look at the Qs. Well, the Qs are in an ABC structure up to 401.68. And thus far, we've only hit 394. What the Qs have done, the Qs took out the B point, took it out with volume, took out the whole, the Qs took out the whole consolidation. And it took it out with volume. Okay, you can push right into it. You can see that. Now, what's also happening is that the Qs very well can have another ABC structure up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be close with the Qs. Not, not so much with the SPY. The SPY looks like it's going to do it. The Qs, you know, so my take is that, yeah, 460, 401, 68 is game. Let me pull this back. Let's pull this back. Take a look at this. So when we take a look at that, what is that high out here? That high is 408. The, the all-time high is 408. Now, what we're going to have, and this is where this is going to get really intriguing. Maybe we already did this. This is going to be freaking great if we did. No, we didn't. Okay, three? No, three? Yeah, we did. Okay, here. Now, check this out. Oh, my God. Wait to hear this. I'm telling you, man, if you're shot, you're going to be careful here. Watch this. This is, is going to be another ABC up. On a weekly, you need 975 million, and we already have 911. This is unbelievable. Okay, check it out, man. Watch this. This is another much larger ABC up. And we already took the volume. We're, we're going to take it out. I mean, it, today's only Wednesday. And we need 975 million, and we have 900. And 13 million right now, and you already took the price out. So this is a much larger ABC structure up inside the queues. Let me see if this isn't a spy too, because this is like <laughs> this would be crazy, man. Put this on a weekly for a second. Okay. No, the spy doesn't have it. The queues do though, and the queues lead, man. Okay, so now we did the SPY, we did the Qs. Now, what are you going to do? Well, you, get, you have to go into the note and bond market. Because the note and bond market are running everything here. We take a look at the note, note and bond market. You know, you've heard me, yep, yep, yep. The bottom line is that you're up another 14 ticks, okay? You're in the higher range. We're at 109.31. Well, guess what? 114's game. <laughs> and 114 is going to get you, yeah, 114 is going to get you a 3.57. Let me just do this again so you can see this, because this is hard to comprehend. And we'll put this up. I'll do the reverse so you can see this. Come on. There it is. Okay. So we're at 4.269, and you're going to see right down there, that's where we're going, is 3.56. You go to 3.56. Folks, this market is going to the moon as is gold. <laughs> and then we go to the U.S. dollar. So when you start putting all this together, um, bottom line is telling me that the ABC structure will finish off. You know, you get the dollar going sideways, 110, as we said a little bit earlier, which would make sense because right in here, you don't have much. But you get, well, yeah, th this actually... I suspect this dollar will fall apart pretty soon because, again, because there's, no, there's hardly any support at this level. You're talking about like five days, ten days. You get five days going all the way back to June, and you get about five days in the middle of uh, July and August. You know? So to answer your question, you know, my take is that we're going to finish off the ABC structure first.
and then we see where it goes. Now, the cues, this is, gonna, this is a big deal, man. If those cues get that volume, um, well, we already know in the weekly. It's going to get the volume in the weekly. And you're coming into window dressing. So you start setting that up, that tells me, listen, higher prices are coming at us. And that is the most deviant thing you can do. And you know what's so intriguing, actually, that even when you, you look at all the polls and, you know, as the people think that, you know, things aren't that great. Well, things aren't that great, and you get a 5.2 GDP. <laughs> I'm not quite sure when folks think things will be great. So there's a disconnect in between the aspect of actually where the economy actually is fundamentally and what people think. But you know how that works. Most times how that works, folks, is that uh, I'm okay, but my, you know, all these other people aren't okay. Who, who knows? You know, but the bottom line is that we put this all together. That's telling me higher prices are coming at us in a monster way. Because if you go to if you go to three point five and the and the just say wrap this around here. Well, let's go look at a couple of houses, uh, how home builders. Because you go to three point five, we're going to be at five and a half percent mortgage again. And you can see Toll Brothers is hanging up there, eighty six dollars. Pull this up. Yeah, you're at highs. Yeah, the the housing market's saying it right here. You know, once you get the wind behind your back, what's going to happen here, in fact, uh, look at this. This is going to be another ABC up. Is that a week that got around? Yeah. Oh, this is a monthly. No, it's not going to happen on a monthly. No, it's not going to happen. But bottom line is, uh, here, that's Toll Brothers. We take a look at Lenar. When you get your wind at the back, you know, inside housing, forget it, because then... There's so much, same thing, when I was at highs, man. Uh, there's so much that goes into it, meaning jobs, meaning the amount of stuff that's bought, meaning the high-end appliance, well, not even high-end appliances, just all appliances in general. Huge amount. And once the, the market understands that the wind's at your back. See, the market is understanding now that the wind is at the, its back inside the note and bond market. Uh, as as housing, you know, the bottom line is when you do these numbers, man, you do those numbers, do, you know, just do the math on a $500,000 mortgage. It's incredible, you know, what one point gets you over the course of 30 years. I mean, it's huge. That's absolutely huge. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up four, NASDAQ's down 31, S&P's up six and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Hey, well, welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 12, NASDAQ's down 25, S&P's up 4.5. Let's take a look at this. Uh, so if we go take a look at FNV, folks, we were talking about this. Okay, so Frank, this is Franco Nevada. Franco Nevada right now is down $4.68, uh, trading in 113.51. Now, this is an all-time low for the year. And what this is, this is all about a royalty that they get out of a Panama mine. Okay? Now, this Panama mine is not just a regular mine. This is the largest, uh, let's see, is it the largest mine? That's a major mine. Okay? It's, it's a major copper mine. That's the real bottom line. And what has happened is that the Panama Supreme Court said that, yes, that the, you know, the bottom line is that the contract uh, is illegal. Okay. So we'll see whether, you know, someone else is going to get the contract, um, how this is going to shake out. But let me show you something here. Because the, so the news deal, the closing of a major mine in Panama has threatened to upend the global copper market by whipsawing industry back into a period of tighter supply. Until recently, the broad consensus among uh, forecasters with the copper would enjoy a comfortable surplus for the next few years. That being said, uh, the bottom line is that the, they thought there's going to be a surplus of uh, particularly 467,000 tons, and now that is going to change that because uh, that is one of the world's largest copper mines. Now, let's go take a look at the copper contract, because HG, when you're going to see copper, looks like it's going to break topside here. Because just like, as the bonds, when I was showing you the bonds a couple days ago, is that what you're going to see? Now, copper's down 65 cents right now. We're trading 383. We bring this back, and you put this up. You can look at this. You are, you are pushing the swing and you're pushing that swing with monster volume, folks, okay? So the way that sets up, I just so the way this sets up is that more than likely you're gonna break topside, man, you know? And you can see when the setup is there, you can see technically and fundamentally how this could happen, you know? Now, my take is that what, you, what you're also going to see is that you're going to see the aspect of um, that's not going to stay closed forever because the bottom line is that the amount of money that it makes for Panama is actually huge. Let's go to Rich in Oregon. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Uh, everything's great. Couldn't be better, Tom. Cool, man. <laughs> nice to hear from you. So what are we going to yeah. look at today? Uh, King Ross Gold. I realize that in the past it was a dog, and rightly so, because they had mines and money tied up in Russia, and I believe they've extricated themselves. 
Yeah, so let, let's, let's take a look. Yeah. Chart action now. No, they have. It, it looks to me like you got. Uh, I just pulled this up. So you got the. They take in four billion. One point three is out of the United States. One billion is out of uh, Brazil. Another billion is out of. Mediterranean somewhere, and then Chile. Yeah, Russia's gone. Okay, so let's take a look at this baby. So the low for the year is three dollars forty cents. The high is five ninety. Oh yeah, this is this is fine. Do you own this right now? Uh, yes. Nice. Okay. Okay. So. Does it look like it maybe has a chance to participate with some of the other gold miners? Oh yeah, no, this is this is trade. You know, this is trading five bucks and wants to go to ten bucks, man. Yeah, this is a good setup. Yeah, but look at this. So, the same type of setup, folks. Okay, that you're going to see when I'm talking about pushing with volume. So, see, last month, last month we pushed with volume into the swings. Okay with extraordinary volume. I mean, the bottom line is that you've done 700, no, 298 million and you were pushing into 269 and then you broke. Yeah, I mean this, you know, just take your time with this, but actually, one second, oh, it's an ABC up too. Yeah, it's an ABC up. So you get 550, 375, so what, is that 370? Yeah, so buck 70 gets you uh, six bucks. So you get an ABC, well, you almost hit it. You get an ABC up to six bucks for first off, Rich. But, you know, I think you get game that the $10.30 uh, here, man. You, you get action. You definitely get action. Okay. Man. That's what I was thinking I was seeing. Nice. Nice. It's, okay. It, it's, nice, it's nice when these things move, isn't it, Rich? <laughs> well, uh, like I said, it came out of the dust. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. It was in the wrong place at the wrong time. No, there's, there's no doubt about that. But guess what? Things change, you know, so pretty cool. Okay, man. Okay, well, listen, Tom. you have a Thanks great a one, a safe one. And, and, All right. and what you're hearing, folks, okay, when, when you know, when I just said the rich isn't nice. That, so when uh, us folks that have been, you know, buying and selling in the gold market for a long period of time, we know how this kind of goes. Meaning when they start going, they go like in an extraordinary way. And you this is when you don't want to sleep. Let's put it this way. I'm only facetious in that, but you don't want to sleep. But you do want to do the work because there's not a lot of gold equities, number one. When they move, they move fast and furious. And then you got to basically start programming yourself not to get greedy. That's how this thing shakes out. Now, my take is we're only at the beginning of this deal. And you're going to see a lot higher prices. That being said, what you absolutely want to be aware of is that like if, yeah, I'll show you. My, my take would go like this, that we get a lot of great equities inside the gold report right now. And I suspect what's gonna happen is this. We're gonna, we're gonna reach much higher prices. And I suspect the dollar's gonna get down to this, you know, 99, 570 level. That is gonna be the sell. That, that gets down there. The 10 year gets down to 3.7. There'll be 8 million calls coming in here about gold, and we'll sell, and then there'll be some kind of retracement. That's how it normally shakes out, folks. Now, what the difference is in gold and the broad market is this. Now, this is what's really cool. The number that I've given you of that 2550 is only a one-to-one -one ABC structure up. Most times, gold always loves to do a one-to-one point three eight two or a one the 1.50. That's how it goes on the way up and that's how it goes on the way down. When we hit the highs of 2011, that's why we, we scored beyond belief on that one, that was a 1 to 1.618 ABC structure on the way up. That's a total change in market trend and sure enough, it only took two or three days and that's exactly what happened, okay? So, you know, you wanna be aware of this when you're inside a, a cyclical market. You know, gold is not like buying Apple or buying Boeing or buying Microsoft, okay? It's always going to go up and down. There's not going to be a one-way shot and, you know, gold just goes to the moon. That's just not how, that's not how commodities work, folks, okay? Commodities are based on the aspect of supply and demand. So what ends up happening in the mining business is that, you know, when 
in 2065, there's certain mines that, yeah, you're gonna dig, dig, dig. At 2,500, there's more mines. If it ever goes to 30,000, we'll all be digging in our backyard, okay? Get the gist of it? Stay right there, folks, to come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 8, Nasdaq's down 26, S&Ps are up 4. Let's go into the silver market. Folks, if you haven't test-driven or got the gold report yet, great time to do it. Get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You can test drive that. Uh, you like it? Great. You can keep it. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, 28 days, just cancel it. And guess what? Bottom line, you get your money back. Plus, you'll get uh, four great newsletters. We're going to take a look at the silver market. You can see see this number here, 65,000. That's big numbers inside the silver market, folks, for volume. Let me pull this back. So as you're going higher here inside the silver market, the actual volumes are going up. And that's what you want to see, particularly we're going against uh, swing points. So if I do the SLV and we take a look at the SLV, because that's going to have volumes right on it, we put this on a weekly. Okay, so it's coming up to the top of its range. The top of the range is how the SLV is going to be. Right now you're trading at the 22, 2290. It's uh, 
it's another dollar. And, and, and we actually look at this, this is saying that we actually need more volume. Let me put this on a monthly, one second, there we go. Okay, so now I get it on a monthly. Yeah, you're gonna need more volume. The, the swing highs here, that's 408 million versus 335. So we're not at the high. The good news is in the silver market, you're not at the highs. And we'll start off December. You start off December right, under, right underneath this. And so this is, uh, this is kind of intriguing, actually, because you can make the case with silver. Look at this. Silver is right at the trend line to break the downtrend. It hasn't broken yet, really, actually. You know, not, not in order to go to this high of $30 in silver and 28 bucks in the SLV. You can see it's just laying right there. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.